So you're, you're a Nehruvian at a time when it is extremely unfashionable or not in sync with the times we live in somehow when we look at uh, Nehru today. Well, you know, I'm a Nehruvian, yes and yet, yet no, because as those who read my book on Nehru will tell you, uh, I'm not an uncritical hagiographer. Uh, I think what he did to instill democratic institutions in our country to bring about respect for democratic practice and culture was absolutely invaluable and is a towering achievement. And I think his strong and resolute insistence on inclusion, on pluralism, on respecting India's diversity, on what we call secularism, though the word is as a word debatable, but the concept of it is not, it seems to me that too is something that really needs reaffirming at a time when these basics are being challenged. I think on economics, there are many things um, that ended up not necessarily serving India well. I think at the beginning, it was essential, his approach. Uh, later, what it became and uh, under uh, the ossification that took place later uh, may have actually not been so positive. And foreign policy, obviously, was crafted in a different era. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so I have a full-fledged appreciation, but I'm not saying that everything that Nehru said and, said and did is gospel. I'm saying there's a lot there to admire. And the more I see the attacks against him, the more I'm determined to affirm what is valuable and precious in the Nehruvian inheritance. Uh, and it's not fashionable because, unfortunately or otherwise, the people who've come to power today have come to power without a full appreciation of what has gone before them. Unlike the previous BJP government of Atal Bihari Vajpayee, because Vajpayee had a very clear appreciation of Nehru. He delivered the finest eulogy in India's parliament after Nehru's death. And uh, there's this wonderful story, I don't think it's in this book, but one of my other books, of how Vajpayee came uh, to uh, the Prime Minister's office and was surprised to discover that an overzealous bureaucrat had removed the picture of Nehru he'd always seen in the Prime Minister's office. So he asked, what happened to this picture? And the bureaucrat said, we thought you were coming, you wouldn't want it. He said, bring it back instantly. And throughout his time as Prime Minister, there was a picture of Jawaharlal Nehru in the office of the Prime Minister of India. Because he knew he was standing on the shoulders of a giant like Nehru. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Mr. Modi and his cohort have no such perception, no value for what, what was built that they're standing upon. And as a result, they continue to demonize Nehru, which makes me all the more determined to fight back uh, in Nehru's corner.